my right direction, to find some way of expressing myself without being a painter, without being a writer, without taking one of these labels, and yet producing something that would be an inner product of myself. It was a reaction against the retinal uh, conception of painting. Retinal art concerns only what the retina receives, the colors and the, the forms, without much of an anecdote. I didn't like it. I never liked it. So I tried to do something else, to avoid to do something only appealing to the retina. He had come up with the idea of the ready-made, where just an object in his studio could become a sculpture. The first one was a bicycle wheel. Just an ordinary wheel? An ordinary wheel, a big bicycle wheel, on a stand. On, I would turn it as I passed by. The movement of it would be like a fire in the fireplace. You know, it has that attraction of something moving in the room while you think about something else. So ready-made is, uh, is really a strategy for raising in a new way the question, what is art? The idea is the choice of uh, not a manufactured object, or I think a ready-made object, but the thing was to choose one that you were not attracted to it for its shape or anything. You see, it was to a uh, feeling of indifference toward it that I would choose it, you see? And that was difficult because anything becomes beautiful if you look at it long enough. He presents a urinal upside down as a fountain, signed R. Mudd, not even with his own name, and presents it as a fountain, which is extraordinary. The idea to this day is extraordinary. It's considered one of the most important works of art of the 20th century. The Armut urinal. This was the touchstone for conceptual art. It's that if you say it's art, it's art in the ready-made. The ready-made comes in as a sort of irony, because it says, here it is, a thing that I call art. I didn't even make it myself. 